Well, today, thanks for joining the stream. We had a lot of fun yesterday with fire builds, and I'm not saying we're not going to play around a little more fire today, but right now we've got our Yokozuna build, which is a couple of porcupines, or one porcupine and a couple of fortunes, and 2,900 durability, and it can go pretty darn fast. So let's see how fast it can go backwards. Now let's go ahead and use our drone power. Alright. This thing is really heavy and we're going almost 100 kp, almost 90 kph backwards. Oh, our perk wore out. I'd have to try a better run when we're already at top speed. We might even be able to get a little higher. But, uh, so this is kind of fun and you get to send the little drone to help your friends. Um, so let's break the build down. Alright, so... One thing we like to do when we're breaking the build down is just throw on some uh, <clears throat> paint thinner so you can see what the parts look like. Uh, and uh, there we go. So also note that um, if you folks have anything you want to say on the chat, uh, I am logged into that as well. So feel free to say hello. All right. So we wanted to have some protection that was kind of hanging out over the front. And I knew I was going to be running into people, and I didn't want to blow off my weapons. Super easy. So I've got these frontal protection systems mounted on these large assembly sections. And these are mounted to the gun mount themselves, so not really worry about that getting blown off. Uh, just a little bit more protection there. Hatchets and small thorns. Those kind of protect the front big APC panel. These are 98 uh, they're really 300 or 292 kilogram pieces, so they're real strong. Trying to keep their weapons getting blown off again. Uh, and you've got your screeners, which, as this whole part falls away, will help keep your fortunes on, because these gun mounts are stuck directly to the cab, as you will see shortly. Uh, so then we've got these parts are stacked, and I kind of like how they look. Um, so it's the the Mengu and the Gesan and the Harate and all that stacked on a gun mount and a train plow so pretty strong pieces strongest piece in the game right over the top of your porcupine this this is attached directly to the cabin so that's nice um, here we've got some digger holes these are just pieces that were the right size to protect the porcupine and a couple of twin blade wings undermounted um, and then I went ahead and used screeners on the front Kind of mounted them in a, a little different way than normal, uh, but that works well. You can also underhang them if you had enough tonnage, which I did not when I was doing this. So then we've got our big APC roof parts hanging out there, uh, that's just kind of protecting our fortunes. Uh, ended up needing to use lighter stuff, so we had the minivan panel. It's a fire starter part, and then uh, hard module, APC rear. So let's take this the rest of the way apart here kind of see how it's all held together okay that's nice I like some of these new syndicate parts they're very good uh, the vial here is a damage pass-through part so it essentially has 220 durability so it's good at holding things off to get blown off hanging away off the back Torino bonnets great engineering part uh, home front all right and there we have our generator and our engine now you might say you know why didn't you throw it down into the cab under the cab. Um, you can't really put it straight under the cab and still have it attached in the front and the back. I could I could put this down here to get the, the center a little bit lower if I wanted to. It's not a bad idea as I'm sit, sitting here thinking about rebuilding this. Um, you know, then you have the listener. This is a power slide. I love that part. And of course our fortunes. And you might as well have two expanded ammo packs because fortunes kind of eat up a lot of ammo uh, and the porcupine so there we go that's our build I got a radar and no cloak no anything the only thing we're using is the engine and really that's about tonnage without this um, you're not gonna you're gonna end up having to put so many tracks on it you're gonna lose all of your maneuverability it's already kind of a pig with uh, a total of 10 tracks on it small tracks but you don't want to put anything worse than that on there because otherwise you're going to compromise the mobility of the Yokozuna. So it's kind of a fun uh, cab to build around. I liked it. And then um, one thing I was doing here, so I've got my oppressor and I've got my Apollo, uh, but I did want the, the cab to mount on both the here and I wanted uh, both of these frames. So I've used all of my 8x4 lightweight frames 
uh, spread them out here. Those are really strong pieces, 560 durability, and it's attached to front and back, and then the ammo pack's hiding underneath. Of course, bull bars on the back. Uh, I've started to run out of lightweight frames at this point. I had to use a 4x4, but I've got six buys here. So it's all pretty, you know, I basically used up all my Lunatics parts. I've put all my my stuff on there. So, uh, so how does this work? Let's go ahead and assemble it and take it out for a quick match, and then we'll play around with some other builds. I'm going to come back to this one, though, because I really do like this build. It's actually super fun. Uh, if you can get the if you can get the mission right, um, but the other thing is at the end of the night last night we were doing the stream on fire uh, weapons. I really made a cool blight cap that I would like to show you folks if you'd like to see. So definitely check that out. And I would like to uh, see what other kind of Yokozuna build we can come up with. I'm just really into the small tracks lately. I don't know. It's not, I've tried it with Bigfoots. The problem is just not being able to back up at full speed when you have a, a like kind of a forward facing build like this. And uh, this cab is so fast, you don't want to slow it down. So I don't know if you have some ideas of what to work with. It might be cool with hovers. I don't know. You're probably not really going to maximize your tonnage. Okay, so let's, who looks like a dog here? Let's go ahead and somebody that's attacking. we we'll give our drone to somebody. Okay. Yikes. I don't like that. Should have given my drone to that person. This is where you want your tracks to go backwards. You hurt them a lot. Just spamming that stuff in there. But if you can just keep keep rolling forward and backward, that's really gonna go a long way to keeping you alive. And whenever I see a tracks on it like that, I always want to get some fire on that. Too much about the bots. Try to get the players. Okay, I want my drone to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and run up on me. It's fine. I'm gonna ignore you. It's gonna be. It's gonna be bad for you, huh? Okay. And now, you, my friend. Yep, that's fine. I'll take that with you. Oh, darn it. They got more shots off before I could get to them. That's okay. That was fun. Still got two kills. Definitely ruined that guy's day. Oh boy, come on now. Thank you. Relic wielding bot and doesn't know what to do. Yeah. That's good. Can't expect the bots to win. That would be bad if the bots were too good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sometimes they are like telepathic with their across the map range cannon shooting. Alright, so. So that's that, and then I, you know, let you know that I also made this with some big wheels. So let's see what this look looks like. It's a little bit different. Um, still kind of that same protection scheme for the fortunes. Uh, this time I've got my fenders on there, and it's a wheelie. So this is kind of fun. So let's go ahead, and uh, I don't think I really need to break it down again. I think let's just take it out for a battle and see how it, how it goes. Oh, that spawned quick there. All right. So, different look, different kind of, you know, movement parts. I had to move the fe take the fenders off to get the other thing to work. See, my acceleration is not super great. But it does have a little bit more durability, 31, 43. I kind of think maybe I would like to loosen it up a little bit. Okay, let's, yeah, I don't want to get shot by you, really. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, watch out. There you go, buddy. Oh, that was terrible. Olivia. Let's see. 
again. Oh boy, sorry, mister. Somebody right here with us? Yeah. Oh boy. I think we need to move around a little bit more with this thing. I don't want to really be sitting in this fire. Okay, come on, Samantha. Is that me or you? Let's get those guns up right at somebody. There we go. Okay, Sophia, go for it. Yeah, super spider. Okay. Let's be over there, yeah. Oh boy. It's not going to be good for me when I have to do this. Do have my super hover power. Hit him once. This isn't the worst kind of thing. Oh boy, break the chains here. Come on, hover. Gonna get ya. Gonna get ya. Gonna get ya. Gonna get ya. Oh, darn it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get him. But I hurt him a little bit. Alright. Yeah, let's try that one again. I'd like to I'd like to be able to keep my momentum up with the Bigfoots and, and I'm used to playing tracks now. Which I like a lot. I like to be able to stop, fire, and then back up really fast. Moving, keep it moving. All right. Yeah, Richard. gonna work, but we're definitely ruining their day. Oh, darn it. They got me. Yeah, oh, that was good. I definitely ruined their defense line, though, so I'm okay with that. breaker build. Okay. So that's two that I've already made. So let's just make another one for you folks. Uh, all right. So what do we want to put on this? Well, something that's going fast. I think we want probably Probably actually make this six wide instead. Maybe make it a little bit lower power score, not totally tank it out the full way. Um, and make it look almost somewhat car-like this time, I think. So weapons would work well with that. Um, you know, I don't like to stick stuff up over the cap. Maybe we want something that fires backwards or Ness might be not a bad idea. I don't really like those very much. Whirl would be cool. Sticking over the top of that cab? Hmm, interesting. Um, could, could fling Jubokus from this thing. That might be 
kind of nice. Side mounted fortunes. Do fire. Ooh, Yaogwai. Maybe we could try something syndicate themed. I don't think that would be bad. Let's 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 see what we got here. So let's go with our generator first. Where are we gonna put this thing? Probably down below. If we're not really that worried about it, I mean, I guess I would love to have this a little bit wider on the sides. I think I am going to go with the 8x frames. It's going to be chunkier, but it's going to give us ability to have the whole width of the car um, on either side. So you can, you can basically lay down a um, huge part, like a a truck door or something right there and there'll be a little bit more space for our for our um, spaced armor I don't know anyway a lot of different options but this is the one we're gonna do so we've got that there so that's kind of protecting your generator it's very boxy probably needs to go back a little farther too because it's gonna have to have a place for weapons and things how many more of these do we have? Oh, we do have them. Okay, well, maybe we'll do this. Kind of like a two-box frame system. Using all of our light frames, because they're half as much durability. I know this thing is ridiculous, so we're going to need to... It's not going to be low PS. So we need to get some kind of movement part that's going to work with this, but still takes advantage of our speed. And I think that really is just going to be... Let's see, we have 12 small tracks do that or we have a bunch of omni wheels we could try that let's try omni wheels so i'm just going to put as many as i have on here and see how the tonnage is okay i've got four fused ones i probably shouldn't put those at the corners but those are the best ones i've got and then eight of these so four per side so let's see here let's go one Two, three, and four. Just put them at the joins. I don't know. At least it's attached to more than one thing. Okay, that's interesting. That gives us all of our tonnage, but by how much? Let's go ahead and throw in our uh, Colossus. We'll probably want a Colossus. Yeah, even for that. So how many could I lose? I could lose one. Two. I could lose two Omni Wheels and still make it. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'm going to put these forward. There. So I have even too many. I think that with the Fuse Bastion I have enough. So. Each of them's eating power. This cab does have a lot of power and it does go fast. So let's just see how this drives. Okay. Not bad. It's, you know, obviously really light still. Let's get it up to speed. All right, now let's take it with the drone. Yeah, 83, 84. <laughs> but the question is, how fast does it back up? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. I could deal with that. All right, so let's let's try this configuration um, and we need to decide what kind of weapon tree we want to put on here talked about doing fire stuff that could be good I think that maybe the syndicate themed with uh, Yao Guai is gonna be a good deal my power score is gonna be so high though maybe I want to use the Jubokus as the main Let's see here. Where can I put these? Can I just put them right up front? Does that make sense? I don't want to. I've been running into people. Maybe I want to put them. I think I want to try to have them uh, fly from uh, over the top of the cab. Let's just see that how that works. That's engineering fun to do with these things. And then we've got a yeah, Y. That leaves us with one energy, which we could spend on probably want a cloak, really, at that point. 
Okay, we want that attached there. I don't want to lose our engine. So let's get a cloak and throw that down there. Okay, and Yagwai. Maybe we want to put that on a gun mount. Let's see how the firing angles are just as they are. Yagwai yeah, isn't bad, but it's great. But Jubokus do, do not like that. So, I think everything's going to have to go on a gun mount. Or... I think that that's probably the best idea. Let's start with that and see see how it goes. We can also hold our, our build together some with these gun mounts. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to just... I'm going to kind of mount them in uh, in order to give me the, the connection to the most points. And let's just see how they fire over the top of this. I think I can live with that, but now the Yagwai is, an, is a little bit too low. So, let's get one more gun mount for that one. And that's okay to have in the back of your build, because you're going to be protecting kind of your whole build anyway. So, you could decide that was a little too high, but we'll see here. You can use the, you do the Yagwai quite a bit closer. I think that these, these gun mounts are going to need to go up one, one step higher. I love this stuff. It's so fun. Just trying all the different combinations of the parts and figuring out what's going to work, what's not going to work. Giving yourself the most, the most mount points. Not worrying about how this part looks so much, but how it, the structure of it is. I don't know. Is that just not centered? Oh, it's just a off-size part. Yeah, that's right. All right, so this we want to have three squares, three squares, two squares between. That'd be fine. Let's throw these up here. And see how that does. Good, okay, see that's about, that's kind of my judge. You can get the firing angle to be shorter um, by bat jacking up the back, but as long as you can somewhat decently throw it, I think that's good, because you don't want it to get shot off. These things are not super strong. Okay, so we've used all of our energy. We need to put a radio on here before we forget. And that's just... Can go in there, and at least we want to probably a pretty good radar on this. I'm not really too worried about power score, so maybe we'll put a keen on. Let's see where we can mount it. It's probably going to be in the way of the weapons. Okay, right? Let's see. No, not in the way of the weapons. Alright, might as well leave it there. Okay, so, yeah, sometimes the things you don't necessarily think are going to work actually do. So what else do we have for lightweight frames here? We need some breakaway stuff for the front. So we've got the fours. Maybe we're going to go with a heavy. These are 960 durability. At this power score, I think that this might actually be a worthwhile investment is to get such a strong piece to not get. Because once you get this piece severed, it's going to cut off one whole side of your car because it's only attached at that and that. So I think that that's worth it. So we know we've got all the tonnage we need. So we could just go buy a power score and get the heaviest stuff. Um, I think that kind of arrangement we had on the last build with the that maybe, and then the Gessan down here is kind of our wedge. I think that looks better. And then I wonder about I was doing this double stacking of these the Mangu, but I can't we can't really do that that way, right? 
So. Hmm. Maybe. See, this is the fun part of these building, these building projects to just get to, just kind of get to try a bunch of different stuff until you like it, and then. I think that's pretty strong. Probably a little crazy, but we'll see. I uh, gotta get some big bumpers for either side. I'm gonna go with these. I don't usually use these that much. Usually use spikes there, but I'm gonna still put my spike in front of the wheel. Let's go back to type. So, ooh, these incisors are cool. Can we fit them there? Yes. That's gonna be fun. It's kind of fun to be able to play unlimited power score build, and you're not just scrimping and saving over every power score point. All right, so. I don't think we want these wheels this far back. I think we want them here and there. Sometimes when you start throwing weight on these things, <laughs> the measurement of the tonnage, it's kind of funny. It'll it'll start to show you that, you, that you're out of tonnage um, as the tonnage fills up because the difference between full and not full is so little so we might need to actually put more wheels on this thing i'm just going to plan for that um but i think if we can make it short that's good uh ooh, the harate this is really good because it keeps people hitting you far away from your car and not like right up inside so that's nice um a couple of bull bars we know we're going to want those in the corners uh this is all kind of breakaway stuff here let's see is this no it's see now that should be attached to something else too so we're gonna, this is, uh, why is that? This is probably eight wide, right? So we'll put a one by eight lightweight frame in there. So at least we don't, I really don't, actually, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a heavier frame in there, one by eight heavy frame. I don't wanna lose my gun mount there. I wanna think about mounting that a different way or maybe cross mounting it. We could put something like a buggy floor or something across, let's see. I mean, that's not, I'm not going to do that. We'll do this. Or even could do this. No, that's not going to You'd have to do that. Can't mount anything to the back of that, but that. That, no. I think that's okay, actually. We'll see. We'll at least just do it for now, and then. Okay, so. Following that line, we probably want to put some kind of a bumper or something on the back of this gun mount. At least just a small thorn, if we can if we can fit it. And we know we're going to need something to put our to mount our um, buggy rear on. So this is a power slide, and that's going to protect the back of this gun. So I don't think, sometimes you can get, let me just delete this little piece here. Sometimes it'll, it'll actually attach right to the back of it. But not that time. So I'm going to put it down below and then we're going to get some other pieces to hold it up. So let's hold it up with, hmm, let's use these there we go. Kind of weaving stuff together here. There we go. Just give it a little bit of buffer. Um, around the sides, I think that's where you're going to use these buggy floors to make really strong places. And I wonder if I lean forward slightly. So I can kind of interlace it as I cover things up. So, heavy, strong parts there. Sorting by power score. Hi, Harry the dog. You waking up? Oh, yeah, he's a good boy. Harry always wants to come up and help with the stream. You know, he's very he's very stream savvy, Harry the dog. And uh, he's a good boy. So now I'm looking at this, and it makes me kind of think. I want this to go a little bit higher. How much higher would it be? We would have to do 
this. I don't know if that's going to affect the gun radius, but we'll see. So let's try that. Oh, still not high enough. Okay. Well, it's okay. We can we can do this, that. Hmm. How much is that affecting that? It doesn't seem to affect it. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. All right. So I would like this to attach to something else, but maybe. Maybe if I attach it to, I'll attach it on the sides, I can do something. That's not what I'm going to do, but I'm going to at least just put that there to remind myself. All right, so sides. Got to use up our heavy stuff first. Oh, the mempo. That's definitely something we want back there. Somewhere kind of like that or... Just something to suck up the damage points. Um, Torino bonnets, those are good. Let's put those back here somewhere too. Yeah, that seems to fit somewhat. Uh, all right, these APC roof parts. Let's put these on the side. These are heavy and heavy and strong. Let's see here. We want to go probably as far forward or like. Something like that. Splitting the difference for now. We'll see how we want to armor it up. We want to have it attaching multiple places here. But I'm not going to fit fenders on this the way I've got the wheels configured. So, all right. So there's that, that, and then maybe we want to do this if it would fit. Without that radar there, it might that back here. That's a couple hundred more durability anyway. It's not where I'm going to mount it, but would this theoretically work? It would. And that is a big box. Okay, so I think that I'm going to use these APC rears here because I think they're going to look a little bit better, but Got to make sure it's still attached to the cap. It is. Okay, so that'll that'll be nice. It'll kind of look like a like a big old box on the back of a powerful truck. Um, really cool. Okay, where is my... Endlessly sorting when you're doing these builds. It's just a little tedious, but it's hard to just move all the parts around, too, all the time. Okay, so now we've still got our other... See, now I would like that to attach to something. Maybe we're going to double this up and go one higher. Because that's what we want to protect, really. We can add some more stuff to that. Alright, what do we want to do in that back corner there? Ooh. These rear doors are very good. But we want to mount it. Can go that. Can go out any further? Nope. But that's okay. Strong pieces are good. I might even turn it around this way. I kind of like the underside look better than the outside, unless it's actually on the back of the van. I mean, I guess we could use these. I could try this. Will it go all the way down? Yeah, it will. Oh, that might be better because then you can attach some stuff to the sides. The problem with the Torino bonnets is there's no way to attach stuff to the sides. So that might be better. So maybe we do that and then we do this. And that's all kind of held together a few different ways. And we can always add. I kind of want to get something strong in there, hold these, these these pieces together. So, let's see. Can this... Oh, that's nice. Interesting. Okay, maybe if I go this way? No. So it doesn't want to stand... Up. Oh, it does do that, but it just doesn't... Oh, I see. It's sticking out just one farther. I see. 
Okay, well, how... Let's just stick it out a little bit there. So let's try that. And then it gives us something to build off of for this. Is this on there? It is. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So it kind of a little origami, but I think it's filling up all the parts. I want it to stick out, right? Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Is this one not? This one isn't over as far. Come on. There we go. Okay. And we do have some. Let's see. Is there any other parts I really want to use? Large assembly sections, you just want these. I like those. Probably want to use these mini pad panels, but I don't really want to see them. But just have their structure. Let's put them underneath. Now they are light, maybe I'll put them here. Oh, parts limit. Okay, well, we've pretty much used everything here, haven't we? We've got 2,700 durability. Not a lot of fluff. I can't see anything really. I can... Very many things I can cut. Okay, so let's... let put this Yokozuna on right-click. And I'm going to... Okay, so then let's give it a coat of paint. Let's make sure that it... So how does it look? Okay. It's not bad. It's kind of... kind of fugly. But... Does it work? It does. Oh, if you... except for if you, uh... Interesting. Oh, we need to put an ammo pack in here. See, that's why we take it out. So, where can we put it? Put it anywhere. Extended ammo pack. Okay, so what part can I lose? Um, take one of those off for right now so I can just get this in here and then I'll figure out what if there's any other part I could lose that would be better than that better is the right word ammo pack I should go back a little bit farther I don't want to take out all my weapons with it either though. pretty efficient with the parts I've used so makes it hard to use to lose one I guess maybe one of these buggy floors that buggy floor is mm, I don't know about that mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna go without one of those all right so let's give it a test Okay. Oh, it's pretty piggly. Yeah, over eighty kph. Ooh, slows down a lot when you do that. Does not back up very fast. But it does get up to speed in reverse, at least. All right, let's have a little sip of tea. Okay, well, let's give this a try and see if it does any well. It might be too slow and tanky, but it sure is fun to build these things, and I appreciate you folks watching.
Thanks for joining on the chat. I do appreciate it. Let me know what you folks think about these uh, these builds and. One way to test it. It's going to be trouble. Looking good. Uh, kaiju! <laughs> Alright. Well, that's fun. I do think this is going to be interesting for sure. Harry the dog's not so sure how interesting it is, but he thinks maybe it's interesting. Thanks for joining the stream, everybody. I appreciate it. It's fun hanging out with you. Did they get one of my weapons? Oh, man. That's the worst. Yeah, shoot me in the face. That's fine. I don't care about that. But I did hurt somebody. Oh, man. This thing is a pig. actually moves around pretty well now. That's no fun. When you're in the fire and you get cap can. Alright. I do like this. So we better save it. Okay, so now I wanted to show you 
this blight. So it's pretty fun. It's just a blight cabin with very little stuff on it. Six wheels. Um, I'll break it down. I'll take the paint off of it. And uh, just some APC parts. And it it does nice. So it's got a couple of hatches in the front. Some gun mounts kind of holding all that stuff together. Some of these syndicate parts up there stacked up like nice like I like. And some spikes holding on the front is the two by six, four by six frames, lightweight. And side parts and some more APC parts. Engine kind of right in the back over the top and you got this little radar protected down in the, in the bottom. Not that you need to protect it that much, but it was, that worked for a spot. And then, um, Million Mark II, Colossus, ammo pack, bull bars. It's pretty simple. The incinerators are there. You know, they're attached to the cab, and, you know, you got a generator, uh, the P1U charge, and radio. So the frames kind of made yourself a nice little hole there in the middle of them and use the strong frames. So, anyway, so let's assemble this and. Uh, this will be our last build of the night. We'll just do a little bit of playing with this. And uh, I do want to thank you for watching. It's pretty fun to do. So these are going to spawn faster. So getting the scrap metal with some incinerators uh, is going to be pretty fun. Tomorrow's stream, we're going to work on some other little things. Um, let's think about playing around with the Griffin cab. But I might be uh, wanting to do the Yokozuna still. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So I think the best thing to do here on this map is just cloak up, get a, launch a shot, and then run. And let's see if we can't hurt some people here. There we go. And one. Got hit with a little fire there. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to deal with that person right now. I think that I can outrun him. Didn't lose our engine. Or our weapon, so that's good. We still have the cloak. Oh, yeah, that's where we're running at. Right there. Yep. That's it. Oh no! It's okay, it's okay. That was my bad. I wasn't watching you. There we go. That's how you do that. Now, move around and do it from the other side. Cloak doing it. Oh, but let's run into our friend here. Oh, darn it. Mr. Tilly. like that. That's not the last one, is it? Oh, there's only two of them left. Oh, boy. Hello. Are you up there still? There you are. Where are you, Ryan? You guarding their base? Back up. Yeah, this thing is so much faster than that loaded down tank, so I don't know, pretty cool. I do like that little speed drone thing, though. It's pretty fun. Somebody died for the privilege. Yeah. Too late. Okay.
about Harry. I think Harry's waking up. He's got his ears right here by the keyboard. Good dog. Let's see. I think this is the side I like better. Get in there. Alright, watch that radar. First blood. Crap, come on, buddies. Get him. Yeah, go you gotta watch out for those. I'm not going to stay there for that. Nope. Nope. Well, bot's got a shot of me. I better take care of that. Come on now. Oh boy. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, who else needs help here? We might need help. At this point, we can straight right into somebody. Oh, there you are. You're over there. Thank you, our friends of the Doppler. Oh, I got MVP. Sweet. Okay, folks. Well, that was fun. So, uh, tune in tomorrow. We'll do some more stuff and play around with builds. And uh, I just appreciate you coming to the stream. I am going to go back to my other Jiboko. Let's see here. I'm going to go to the Yokozuna, actually. That's going to be... That's going to be our one to go out on so I'm just going to test drive this and uh, get some uh, screenshots so thanks for watching everybody I do appreciate it feel free to hang around while I take a screenshot that's fine with me but I am not going to go into any more battles tonight oh watch that no. every time you get out here try to have a screenshot some Lancer runs it <laughs> no, it's, it's good okay so alt z Okay, let's even try some. Some 
with a little sun on them too. Let me know what type of screenshots you folks like the best. I'm going to be playing this one more tonight, that's for sure. All right, folks. Have a good evening.